So everybody, have uh, you probably seen the news recently? I recorded the ending of the dry dock on Friday evening and it was looking relatively hopeful for my trip to the States and then of course, well, middle of Saturday UK time, you get the news, oh by the way, the US has added the UK to its list of uh, areas that you can't come to the US from. Well, that's incredibly helpful, isn't it? That looks like it's going to be a They've sort of appended it onto the Schengen ban, which is uh, 30 days. Unfortunately, that does carry well into April, which means that as things stand, I'm not going to be able to make my flight to the States. Uh, basically, the only way I would get around it right now would be to take a flight in the next two or three days to Canada, wait out 14 days in Canada, then sneak across the border. But even then, a bunch of the museum ships, as I mentioned, in uh, the dry dock have closed, but even more of confirmed closure for undetermined amounts of time over the weekend. So, well, yeah. Effectively, what this means is it's looking very unlikely that this trip's now going to go ahead which is really, really annoying. Um, <laughs> yeah. Unless, by some miracle, all the uh, travel restrictions get lifted in time. But I'm not going to hold my breath on that. Now, what does this mean for everybody? Well, for the channel, it means, ironically enough, of all things, I have to, <laughs> I have to keep all my bookings in place until 3rd of April, which is when I was going to fly out. Because according to the travel insurance, if I cancel everything now, then there is a small possibility that the restrictions might be lifted, which for insurance purposes apparently means that I am the one who's cancelling it, at which point I'm not covered for insurance. Whereas if I leave it until 3rd of April, then I miss my flight because, well, the flight will have been cancelled by the airline, at which point I can claim t uh, plane tickets and hotel expenses, etc., back on my travel insurance. So, at least I won't, if that goes down that way, assuming that the travel insurance company actually stick to their terms and conditions, which um, they'll probably try and get out of, because I imagine there's an awful lot of this kind of thing happening now. Um, but in theory... I shouldn't be out too much money. However, the people I do feel actually quite guilty for are those of you who I know have already put aside time, resources, annual leave, and in one or two cases even been kind enough to book me a hotel room. And uh, yeah, I've obviously having, with, with you guys having put your own resources on the line, that's not covered by my travel insurance, um, unfortunately. So... For those of you who have done that, um, if you would like to, please get in contact with me via the channel email found in the About section of the channel. Uh, I know some of you probably already got my email because that's how you've been corresponding with me, um, but I will do my level best to get that money back to you um, as soon as my own travel insurance comes through because I don't want to have you guys um, out of pocket for reasons that are completely beyond your or my control. Uh, so yeah, not not the world's most upbeat of videos, but such is life. Um, I think that's pretty much everything other than to say that I will try and reorganize uh, a trip to America basically following the same pattern of travel and visitation albeit that obviously we don't know quite how long this is all going to last, so I can't give any firm commitments to dates at the moment. Ideally, I'd like to say sort of June, July, but then some parts of the media are saying that we're going to be in the worst of it at June, July, at which point I don't think those travel restrictions are going to be lifted anytime soon. Um, so we will just have to wait and see. But I will be there at some point. <laughs> um I don't know quite what I'm going to do with the annual leave I've booked off of work. Um, I might try and go and film some museum ships in the UK, assuming they're not all shut down. Um, but the good news is I actually had pre-made all of the content for while I was away, so there won't be a content shortage, and indeed, even if I only take half of the annual leave off, um, 
instead of going to the States, I will then obviously have more opportunity to make more content. So, yeah. Well, let's see how it all goes. Silver linings and all that. Um, and hope we're all here on the other side of this to try again at some point in the future. Thanks very much for listening and uh, apologies for the abysmal timing of the American government making it so that <laughs> my dry dock announcement seemed a little bit more cheery than it perhaps should have been. <laughs>